going to play some Super Auto Pets. Now this game is a little silly, but it's all fun. It's all fun. It's an auto battler, so if you you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people know what an auto battler game auto battler is. Sorry, let me just also get rid of the chat cover. I know you can hear it as well. Now this game, as I said, I played it a while ago. I played it a while ago, and um, and there it is. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> um, we played it a while ago, and um. While we're waiting for a um, waiting for New World to drop, and then um, and then it got insanely popular, it got very popular. There we go. And so now we're gonna play it some more because I want to. <laughs> um, let me just ch catch up on chat before we get going. Um, oh, Bozadar had to go head off. That's all good. Thank you so much for joining us, Bozadar. If you heard, thank you so much. Um, Gaming Golfer, you're working on leveling a summoner to 80 now. The new changes on that class look amazing. They really do. I'm super excited for summoner. Super, super excited for summoner. Oh, Jolly, you created a new character just to see about it. That's cool. Gonna work on your book some more? Go for it, Kanji. I love it. Dark, you're in your Udi too? Yes. And thank you, Dark, for hosting the stream. Thank you, mate. Thank you. It's about an assassin who takes a single shot. One day she misses and goes from hunter to prey. Oh. That's really cool. I love that. I love that idea, Kanji. That sounds amazing. Um, Bavarines, you're back for no reason. Excellent. Love to hear it. I'm so glad you're back, actually. Um, oh, your leg hurts? I'm not glad to hear that, though. I'm not glad to hear that. Okay, so Super Auto Pets. It is an auto battler, but it's an auto battler that runs at your own pace. A lot of auto battler games, you have to essentially play the game quickly because you've got opponents right in front of you. The great thing about Super Auto P Pets is... You don't have to worry about timers. You don't have to worry about other players. You just build your team as best you can and you do end up versing other players as you go. So right here, essentially you've got a number of pets, you've got some buffs, you've got money, you've got lives, you've got number of wins and you get your number of rounds, okay? Um, now I know quite a lot about the, the, the units and everything like that. I'm not amazing at the game, but I'm pretty good. So... Right here, looking at the starting lineup, I see a fish. Fish are really cool starter units because their stats of 2 damage, 3 health is really nice. Um, and they have a really cool ability when you level up where they give all your friends plus 1, plus 1. Really handy ability in the early game. I'm going to grab a fish when the servers let me grab a fish. Hold on, I'm just going to raise the audio a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. It might be too loud. We'll see how that goes. Um, so we've got a fish here. Um, the beaver is also really good because when you sell the beaver, he gives two random friends plus one health. It's a really handy little effect to have. I'm going to re-roll to get some new pets. Um, and here I really like the otter because when you buy him, he gives another friend plus one plus one. And I was going to say, we want it to go on the fish because out of the three units we have here, the fish is the one that I want to hang around the most. Um, so I've spent all my gold. I'm just going to hit end turn. Uh, we get to name our team, chat. It's Magic the Gathering, but auto battle. Exactly, Kanji. It is exactly, you know what? You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> um, we get to name our team. Um, what am I going to name our team? I'm going to call ourselves, what do we want to call ourselves? We're going to pick one of the blues and one of the greens. Um, let's call ourselves, I kind of like the um, the moody rodents. I do like the moody rod rodents. You want to be the mo unsubtle bagel? The Moody Bagels? Bear Bagels? Okay, I think everyone loves the bagels. What should we go with bagels? Um, you know what? I, I, you know what? I, I do like the, the Bear Bagels. You know what? That's going to be insulting to anyone who loves bagels. They're going to see Bear Bagels and they're going to get infuriated. They're going to be furious. All right, we found an opponent. We've got Aussie Devros, the Bear Bagels versus Duck with Pants' Pouting Cucumbers. So I'm just going to pause the game and, 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 uh, talk about what's going on here on the screen. So, we're fighting the pouting cucumbers. Bear bagels is just bread. That's that's the joke. So, he had a fish that had the same stats as us. So they KO'd each other. Um, their their otter beat our um, beaver, unfortunately, and then their otter is going to beat our otter. They just had better stats. Unfortunately, it happens. We were defeated. We lose a heart, but that's okay. Um, the heart was behind the camera. That's why he does. Didn't see it. Sorry about that. Um, okay, 
So what have we got here? I see here we have a lot of beavers. Now this is pretty good because we could buy these beavers and then sell them. They did beat our beaver valves. You you are correct. They 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 really slammed our beaver hard. Now I have all these beavers, and just to show, you can then combine them. So we can combine our beavers, make them even stronger, and now we have a level two beaver. And when we sell him, he gives two friends two health, which is pretty cool. Um, we also got a crab. A crab is really interesting. Um, the crab is when he starts the battle, he copies the health from the opponent ahead of him. Um, it's a very interesting ability. If you have a really buffed up unit in front of him, very, very cool ability. Um, and actually, thinking about it now, we only have four gold left. It costs three gold to buy a unit. So I might just buy him anyway. And we'll just do a reroll. There's an otter. I'm going to freeze the otter so you can freeze units and use them on the next on the next um, round. I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to go for what's next. You have a PSA 10 beta set Black Lotus. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's crazy, Kanji. The Black Lotus is such a, such a valuable card. And a PSA 10 is huge. For those of you who don't know what PSA is, it's a graded um, card. All right. Our beaver is wrecking shite up. Our beaver literally wrecked all those other animals. We got a win. We have one win in the books. Um, level 2 units are now unlocked. And we got some good level 2 units here. These are actually really good units. So, um, I'm going to buy the otter and hope that it buffs the fish. It buffed the fish. Excellent. I'm going to move the crab here so the crab gets 5 health instead of just 4. Um, I'm now going to sell the otters. And the reason I'm going to sell the otters is because I want to buy these swans. Now, these swans are really handy because not only do they have good stats, but they also give you one gold at the start of every turn. Oh, and there's another fish as well, uh, which I can't buy because I don't have enough money. So we'll freeze the fish. Um, we're just going to re-roll through and see what we get. There's another beaver, but we're probably going to sell our beaver soon. Okay, there's nothing there. All right, let's just go. Um, so you'll, you'll see here that our crab will take the health of the fish. Okay, this is this this is a this is a really tough team. Looking at this team, this is a tough team. Um, gaming golfer, does it cost money to combine same animals for a higher level? No. So it costs money to buy the animals, but it doesn't cost money to combine them. Now, some animals like this swan here, you might think, well, why didn't I combine them? The reason I didn't combine them is because you need three animals to make a level two. And if I combine them, I would only get one gold on my next turn but because i have two on my um on my team i actually get two gold next turn so it's just a small little optimization that will allow me to get more gold on the next turn as i said i play this game way too much in my spare time i do it while my while i'm rendering youtube videos because i can do it in the background anyway um they have a really buff fish yeah yeah game over it's three for level two yeah sorry about that i probably should have explained that better they're gonna buff fish they're gonna buff otter we're probably gonna lose this Browser game or local install? It's a local install on Steam. You can actually get it on Steam, and it's free. Completely free. Um, there are in-game transactions. There is a, um, a DLC set of animals you can get as well. But at the moment, in the current meta, the DLC animals are weaker than the free-to-play animals. Um, so you may as well just use the free-to-play animals. But you can support the developers with cosmetics uh, as well. Anyway, so we gained two extra gold, which is really handy. I'm going to buy the fish just to buff our fish a little bit more. I'm going to give our crab a, a, a bone attack. Um, it gives them plus five damage, which is really handy. Um, and that buff can be removed and changed later on if I want to. Uh, I'm going to reroll a third swan. So I'm now going to combine my swans because why not? Now I'm getting the same effect, but just with one swan. Uh, and I think oh, I would really like to buy this giraffe, but um, unfortunately I can't. Because the draft buffs our other animals, which is really handy. Um, the dodo is really good too. He gives you, he gives his attack to the the animal in front of him. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's like there's a lot to go through with the game. Like each animal has a different ability. The dog's really cool. Whenever you summon a friend, you gain plus one attack or plus one health. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very chill tactical game, and that's what I really like about it. And I enjoy your auto battles. I get a good time out of auto battles. Ooh, a peacock's interesting. Um, a peacock, when hurt, gains two attack. It's an interesting, interesting, um, animal. Alright, nothing, nothing that great. Let's just end turn. I can't buy the, I couldn't buy the giraffe. It costs too much, so that's fine. Um, I'm not confident with this team. 
I'm not confident with this team. Although, nothing here is too scary. Um, they've got a big dog. 9-7 is, is... Well, yeah, actually, I, actually, I do think we're going to lose. Uh, we're going to lose quite handily. The spider spawns a free unit. The dog eats because a unit was summoned. The ant beats us. But then when the ant dies, he buffs another unit. He buffed the dog. That puffer fish, when he gets hurt, he attacks another unit. That's also very dangerous. Yeah, we are... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Did I say I was good at this game? I meant I'm I'm okay at this game. All right. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked. Okay, let's see if we can pick it up a little bit. I I definitely want to buy. Okay, here's what we could do, right? I have I I I got three ten wins today. Okay, three ten wins today. Oh, you can play it in your browser as well? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I'm going to sell this um, this um, beaver, and he's going to give us some health buffs. Okay, so that was pretty good. I really liked that. Um, I'm going to buy a rabbit, and I'm going to buy a giraffe. So the rabbit, when a friend eats food, gains plus one health. I'm going to do a food build. If I got anything that would allow me to... Although I did get another rabbit, so that's pretty good. Going to re-roll again. And I got a fish. Okay, a fish is huge. So the fish is going to level up all our... It'll give our units all get plus one, plus one. Sorry, that was the worst way of saying that. So that was really good there. That was really handy. Um, so that was really, really good. That gave us a little buff. I still think we're a little bit on the weak side. Um, I don't think we're going to be getting through this anytime soon. But um, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll see how we go. I think I'm, I'm spending too much time, like, trying to explain it all and not focusing on it. Alright, so, how are we looking on this lineup? They've only got four... They've only got four units. Um, level two fish. Um, both, our, both our fish will defeat each other. Um, our crab will beat the mosquito. Yeah, this, this is interesting. The mosquito attacks first. We buff the crab. The fish, they eliminate each other. The crab beats the mosquito because of the attack buff. The crab doesn't kill the peacock, but will kill the peacock in the next turn. And then our bunny defeats the other bunny. There's a win. Nice. Excellent. Very, very good. All right. Um, these animals, they're not going to help us. The snail only helps you when you lose. Although I will give a garlic to our swan, which has very quickly become our most powerful animal. So I should probably rearrange a little bit here. Although I was enjoying getting the buff on it. Hmm. Do I buff the... Hmm. No, keep buffing the swan. Sorry, I'm just going to try and figure this out. Keep buffing the swan because the swan's more likely to last the entire round. Or the entire game. Uh, what do we get here? 69 fish. Nice. You're not wrong, Balbs. You're not wrong. Um. Okay. Reroll again. I'm not getting good... I'm not getting good um, results here. This is, this is terrible. I, I'm looking for food that I can give to a unit that allows them to get more stats, but I'm not getting it, like, at all, which is really frustrating. Finally, some salad. Gives two random pets, plus one, plus one. Then the rabbit feeds them extra health. Ah, oh, it's very tricky. Yeah, we're not getting good unit. This is, this is terrible. This is, like, the worst luck I've seen. Okay, there we go. Finally, a bit of good luck. A void monkey. How you doing, mate? Welcome back. I'm looking comfy. Thank you. Um, I'm, the reason I'm looking so comfy is because I'm wearing an Udi that was gifted to me by the Udi, the company that makes Udis. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a sponsored stream, Void, eh? Void Monkey. And you gave me the perfect launching off point to Spruik, the wonderful sponsor for today's stream. So they're just sponsoring this stream. Um, they have given us a discount code. Udis are fantastic. If you live in a place that can get cold at night, I definitely recommend having a look at them. Um, and you do get a roughly a $30 discount um, if you use the code Aussie Devro. There you go. But how you doing, Void Monkey? Sorry for spruiking. You just gave me a good opportunity. <laughs> All right. I'm going to level up our giraffe because the giraffe is giving a constant buff to our swan. And we're going to get all this salad because salad's delicious. The most delicious. And that, that rabbit is double buffing anyone that we give food to. And I may as well give the crab a crab because why the heck not. 
All right, that was a good turn. That was a good turn for stats. Um, I still think we're a little behind, but I think it's doing well. You live in Iceland. It's always hot at night. <laughs> you know what? Fair call. Um, so what do we got here? We got a um, we got a seven seven fish that has an extra five damage, so he'll beat our he'll definitely beat our um, beat our fish. But overall, I think our team should win this. The skunk's interesting. The skunk. Oh, we actually had enough health. <gasps> okay, that's an easy win. Easy win. Dutch, did you know Iceland doesn't have any McDonald's? <laughs> uh, guys, guys, can I just point out that we're starting to win? The Udi EU side had a discount thing going as well. Yeah, I think the Aussie DevFro... No, I think the Aussie DevFro code... You might get, you might be able to get free shipping, but I think the Aussie Devro code is the same, if not better, than the other codes that you that you can get at the moment. Um, I'm not too sure. Okay, canned food is interesting because canned food buffs the shop. Canned food buffs the shop, which is interesting because we might replace the giraffe at some point. So I'm gonna buy the canned food. Never mind, we got another giraffe. That's fantastic. Which begins we get a level two giraffe. Oh, and we got a seal. <sighs> the Aussie. Okay, all right. So we got a seal. The seal. If the seal eats food, it gives two random friends plus one plus one combined with the rabbit. Okay, this. If we win the next round, we win. We win the whole game because I. This seal is fantastic. Oh no, we got some gold. Let's just reroll. Ooh, salad. I like salad. Um, the Aussie Defro code is better by five bucks. Hey, <laughs> In that case, now's the time. Now's the time. All right. This team's a little spooky. Uh, they've got a really powerful peacock. This peacock is going to wreck us. But I have faith in my swan. I don't have faith in my swan. I, yep, nope. Um, our giraffe is kind of strong. Oh my, wow, we actually won. Holy heck, the giraffe. The giraffe came through in the clutch. Love it. Thank you, Mr. Draft. Their team was the illegal husbands. That's hilarious. I, I haven't been noting the team. All right. Um, what are we going to get rid of now? We're going to get rid of... What do we get rid of? This is really hard. What do I get rid of? The crab is not a 5-5. Five five. The crab is a 10-13. The bunny is pivotal to the, meat, to the, the food build. The swan gives us more money. The giraffe gives two friends ahead plus one plus one, and the fish is an eight thirteen. Okay, this is a little ballsy. This is a little ballsy. I'm going to sell the fish, and I'm gonna grab the seal. Ooh, ooh, because we're immediately gonna buff the seal with the pair, which gives its stats pretty much on par. With the fish that we had. Then we're going to eat some salad. Because we love some salad. Do you see all the buffs? Do you see all the buffs flying around? You know what? I, I love the buffs so much. Uh, no, re-roll something better. Ooh, chocolate is... Ooh, okay. There's okay. There's some interesting stuff here. There's some interesting stuff here. You showed me Macca's shrimp. That's enough reason for me. <laughs> oh my god, void monkey. <laughs> Alright. So chocolate gives plus one experience. So we can level up any of our animals with the chocolate, which is really cool. Um, the giraffe, giraffe. And then the cow. The cow, essentially, when you buy it, it replaces the food with milk, which is free. Uh, we could sell something else and get the cow. Um, like we could sell the crab, honestly. We're, we're, getting, we're getting to a point where the crab probably might outweigh its usefulness. Um, actually, no, I don't want to sell the crab. The crab's the crab's also really handy. Oh no, I need to. Oh, I've got three gold. Oh, whoops. Um, you know what? Let's get a level. Let's get a level two bunny. <gasps> a cat. Oh my god, the cat is the third piece of the puzzle for the food build. Food with health and attack effects are doubled. Okay, all right. If we live this turn, we double win. So, Macca's in your country, Dutch, has fried shrimp. Ours does not. And that, it confuses me. I'm not going to lie, it does confuse me. We're fighting the hot poses. It's the bare bagels versus the hot poses. And it looks like the hot poses are going to wipe the floor with us. They have melon armor, which is the most invincible of armors. That's really spooky. 
Although... Although... Giraffe. Giraffe clinches it once again. Never doubt the giraffe, ladies and gentlemen. The giraffe is freaking nailing it. Um, okay. So... Unfortunately, crab has to go. We need the cat. The cat is too pivotal to what we need. Um, the giraffe is just going to be handy, so we're just going to grab that. Uh, we're going to re-roll. We're going to grab some salad, and it's going to buff the shiz out of everything. Look at that. Love it, love it. Um, I'm going to buy no another level rabbit, because I can. And we're going to end our turn. So our, our, our um, cat is almost as strong as our crab as well. Don't get too crabby there now. I ain't crabby. Um, it is the Bear Bagels versus the Backwards Clementines. Here we go. Ozzy no longer has crabs. Confirmed. Um, this ant is a 35.50. Nanny? Oh, they got two monkeys. Okay. So the reason this guy absolutely slaughtered us is because he has two monkeys. Or they have two monkeys. Um, a monkey at the end of turn buffs your first animal. So the monkeys are too... The monkeys are very strong. All right. We can only lose one more game and we, we're out. So... Okay. What are we going to do here? Um, melon armor. Take 20 da damage less once. Very useful. Uh, steak. Plus 20 damage. Very useful. Give it to the cat. Okay. Yeah. Monkeys are strong. Monkeys are very strong. Sushi. Also very strong. Love it. Look at those buffs. It's another seal. I love to see it. Um, and garlic armor will probably help our giraffe later. So let's let's keep hold of that. Reroll one more time. Um, another garlic armor. Yeah, we could we could use some more garlic armor. All right, enter. <laughs> We're gonna have all the wins. Also dead. <laughs> all right. The bear bagels versus. The Subtle Balls. Oh, I love that name. That that name's too good. How long until the ad? The ad's like 11 minutes away. We we won't get that ad. Um, hey, Thomas. Hello, hello. How you doing, Thomas? All right, so what have we got going on here? We got a hippo. The hippo buffs itself. Oops. The hippo buffs itself after it gets a kill. Um, the dodo is going to buff the hippo with a lot of damage, but the melon armor will take care of that. Um, the deer hides a... The deer hides a bus inside it. You may not believe me now, but watch when the whale eats the deer and creates the bus. It's all going to be chaos. So the whale eats the deer. The deer unveils the bus. Hippo and seal clash. They double KO. Cat defeats Dodo. Uh, bus double KOs with cat. Rabbit defeats whale. Whale spits out deer. Ox gets buffed. Um, rabbit defeats deer. Uh, rabbit gets beaten by bus. Um, swan... Steps up to the plate, destroys melon armor, and then wrecks the ox. There we go. There we go. That's another win. That's another win. We're at six wins. You're doing well, Thomas? Excellent. That is wonderful to hear, mate. Um, we're going to put garlic armor on both of our other creatures here because it'll be useful. We're going to buff. Actually, we're going to wait before buffing because I want to reroll. Sushi is unfortunately more important because it does, it's a much bigger buff. Uh, we'll reroll again. Pizza is amazing as well. None of that's amazing. All right, cool. Pro tip for VPN people. No one buys ad slots in Iceland. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> um, The reason we do run ads mid-channel now is to allow newcomers to the stream, to encounter the stream, interact with chat, interact with me, and, and get a good feel for the channel and see if they like it here. Uh, much easier rather than, you know, having to encounter an ad and then get through the ad to see if, you know, the, the, that... See if the Frofam's a fun community. So just opening up the stream for more newcomers, if that makes sense. That play-by-play -play, though, I can I can try it again. Do you want me to try it again? I can I can do it again. All right. Here, um, the crocodile deals fourteen damage to the last enemy. Won't kill our draft, so that's good. They have a rooster. Roosters are really dangerous because they can summon chicks, and we already know the dangers of a monkey who's been buffing this alligator. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Seal, uh, alligator attacks giraffe, giraffe tanks it. Seal and alligator clash, alligator eats the seal. Cat gets eaten by the, the crocodile. Bunny defeats rooster. Uh, uh, ox gets buffed. Rooster chick defeats bunny. Uh, swan goes to toe-toe with ox. Ox defeats swan. Ox defeats giraffe. The bear bagels lose to the ironic underdogs. 
You know what? It may say game over. However, six wins. Six wins is a lot of points. Six wins is 30 points. Um, I almost have a Brother Darkness. <laughs> Brother Darkness coming in with that raid. Guys, how are we all doing? Welcome in. You're playing some Dark Souls 3. My favorite, Dark Souls. How you doing, mate? <laughs> um, Void Monkey, not gonna lie, you thought the ad stuff was a community meme. <laughs> Until you were watching Twitch while in Sweden. Ah, that makes sense, Void Monkey, that makes sense. Um, Dark Pocketmon, hello, welcome back, mate. How are things? Things are going really well. Things are going really well. I, believe it or not, I'm doing a sponsored stream tonight. <laughs> Things are going well. We um, played a good couple of hours of Final Fantasy XIV and we're just wrapping up the stream with a little bit of Super Auto Pats because I'm addicted to it. I've been playing it for months. Everyone thought I was crazy and then all of a sudden it got popular and now I'm allowed to play it again. Go figure. <laughs> oh dear. How are we all doing? Yeah, yeah, sponsored. This is a sponsored stream. I don't want to go, I, I won't go into the full plug mode just yet, but I will remind everyone at the end of the stream um, that the Udi sponsored and all that sort of jazz. But how, how'd your stream go, Brother Darkness? How do you enjoy Dark Souls 3? As I said, my favorite Dark Souls. My absolute favorite Dark Souls. I, I love the speed of it. I love the pace of the gameplay, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I love having magic back into the game. And I, I honestly think the, the flow of the world is really, really good. I love Dark Souls 3. It's so good. It's good you're revisiting it. Ooh. Brother Darkness, have I asked you what your favorite Dark Souls game is? I think I might have, but I can't remember if I did. Um, all right. What do we want here, chat? Um, we're going to buy an ant because an ant, when he faints, he buffs another 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 creature. Um, we're going to buy an otter. The otter will buff the ant. And then we're going to buy a beaver for future buffs later on. This is not a powerful... <laughs> what? Excuse me. Wanna be as fluffy as Aussie Defro? The Udi have given us a wonderful discount code to use on their website. Use code Aussie Defro to receive roughly 30 Australian dollars off your new D. <sighs> who taught the who taught the bot how to resub? Who taught the bot how to resub? And who gave the bot the plug? <laughs> <laughs> who taught the bot how to plug? <laughs> the bot has become self-aware. We need to go. This is dangerous. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Well, now I can't escape it. Yes, as... Aussie Botfro has delightfully pointed out live on air. This stream is sponsored by the Udi. They have provided me with this adorable avocado on toast Udi. It is essentially a hooded blanket. It is very, very warm, very, very cozy, and it makes me so much more fluffy than I normally am. For reference, I'm pretty fluffy on a good day. Um, but yes, um, I actually owned an Udi before the, um, I received this one as a gift. I actually already used the products. I love them. I wouldn't be spooking them if I did. Um, so again, big shout out to the Udi for sponsoring the stream, for providing the Udi. And um, yeah, there is a discount code if you guys are interested in There's a link in that, um, that little post there as well if you do want to check it out. Um, no pressure or anything. It's honestly just, I love it. So I hope you guys can, can gain access to it and love it as well. Um, but yeah, we're playing Super Auto Pets. Um, and, um, hopefully not going to get our butt kicked in front of more people. How are we going to name our team? How are we going to name team? Let's call ourselves the cheesy, the cheesy ice cubes. It makes no sense. And I love it. it makes no sense. And I love it. All right. The cheesy ice cubes. <laughs> Thanks geek. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. <laughs> so. Here we go. Let me let me explain what's going on to all the newcomers. So if you guys haven't seen Super Auto Pets, it is an auto battler game that is played with your own pace. Um, you don't have to worry about being forced to a timer or anything like that. Um, you literally build the team in your own time 
and you click go in your own time. So it's the perfect auto battler to play when you don't know, you don't have time to sit down and actively play it um, at the time. What's the task of the game? The task of the game is to beat up other teams. Um, Thomas, you get it. So we are the cheesy ice cubes. You can't see it because my my scarecrow bar's in the way. Hold on, let me remove the scarecrow bar for. Let's let's just move it. Scarecrow bar. There I am. So we are the cheesy ice cubes, and we're versing. Actually, you guys can't even see it. We're versing the uh, rude carrots. The task is bad. <laughs> Thanks, Balfs. Thank you. Um, so we're fighting the rude carrots. They have two ducks on their team. Doesn't gonna stand a chance. Ant beats up the first duck. Duck and ant can double KO each other. The ant does buff the beaver though. Real enemies? Heckin' yeah. Total enemies. Alright, the goal is 10 wins. We're gonna keep pushing. Um, what do I see here? What do I like? Um, all the animals have abilities and things like that and we try to build the perfect team. That's essentially the goal of the game. Cheesy ice cubes, this angers you. Good. That was the whole idea, Bells. <laughs> um, I'm going to buy an otter because he buffs another unit. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to reroll. We got another ant. I like having two ants. Two ants is pretty good. I'm not going to combine them, though. Um, what I will do, though, is combine the otter and buy a pig. So it's like frozen cheese or cheese-flavored ice cubes. You know what, Void Monkey? It can be whatever you want it to be. All right, let's end our turn. We're looking for an opponent. Here we go. It is Aussie Devro's Cheesy Ice Cubes versus Oni Chan's Folded Teapots. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So they have a pig, they have a duck, they have a couple of ants and a fish. This this is dangerous. These ants are going to buff the shiz out of that fish. All right. <clears throat> Ant comes up against the pig, double KO. Our ant buffs the beaver. Second ant fights the duck, double KO. Our ant buffs the beaver. Beaver takes down ant. Ant buffs fish. Beaver takes down, no, double KO. Ant buffs fish. Fish destroys our otter. Fish annihilates our pig. And we out. We took a hit. We took a hit. Not great. Not, not a good, I mean, one for one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Gaming golfer, first time playing, you got two trophies and learned a cool combo. Hey, and that's all that's the that's the great thing about Super Auto Pets. It's always all about learning cool combos. Ice cubes with melted cheese on them. Mmm. Hey, Dutch, you made it to Mount Moon. This will be fine. Yes, yes, it'll it'll all be fine, Dutch. Um, okay, so we've got new units coming in, which is great. Um, by the way, chat, uh, and Brother Darkness, actually, you you do um Pokemon challenge runs. Dutch is doing a Pokemon Blue. Um, Rattata only run. So we can only use a single Rattata. <laughs> you really want to delete that comment? Don't do it, Bows. Don't do it. All right. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to combine all our ants to make a level two ant. Um, by combining our ants into a level two ant, we gain a super... Uh, we gain the next level units. We gain an ox. Oxes are huge. Oxes are really powerful. When a friend in front of an ox faints, they gain melon armor, so they gain essentially invincibility and plus two attack. It's actually pretty good. It's actually really, really good. Um, we will also... You know what we'll do? We're going to sell the pig, because when you sell a pig, you gain an extra gold. And I'm going to buy a shrimp. So a shrimp, when you sell another animal, you gain plus one health, which is kind of cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to re-roll. I like the idea of the hedgehog. So I'm going to sell the beaver, and the beaver buffs two other creatures. And by selling a creature, the shrimp buffed our otter. I'm going to put these at the, in front of there. I'm going to put a hedgehog over there. The hedgehog, when he faints, he deals damage to everything. Really nice, really nice combo. Here we go. We're going to end our turn. Looking for an opponent. Here we go. It's Aussie Devro's Cheesy Ice Cubes versus Babel's Frigid Bagels. Cheesy ice cubes with frigid bagels? I think they work. I think they work. Um, what am I scared of here? That's a strong fish. And they have two swans. So these this guy, this person's going to scale really well with gold later on. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ant, Rex, fish. Ant and fish, double KO. Our ant buffs the otter. The ox gains melon armor. Ox hurts the pig. Double KO pig and ox. Our otter comes through, nails the first swan, nails the second swan, and we defeat the frigid bagels easily. Look at that. That's another win. 
that's another win. Another ant. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's re-roll. Let's look for something good. Another shrimp. Also love to see it. And another otter. You know what? I'll take that. That gives us another buff on our... Our ant is actually going pretty well. Dutch Brock is hell with only Run Rattata, so you skipped him. Yes. You'll actually give him a couple of attempts before going through Mount Moon. Yeah, your Rattata should be pretty strong. Your Rattata should be pretty strong by that point. Do I want to buy either a Dodo or a Blowfish? Hmm. I... Hmm. I mean, I can't sell anything and buy anything. It's it's not really going to work, so we'll just end our turn for now. We've got a strong ant. I like our ant here. All right. It's so Aussie Devfro's Cheesy Ice Cubes versus Anonymous's Withering Hedges. Here we go. Their mosquito fires off at our ant. Ant and otter collide. Ant buffs shrimp. Ox gets melon armor. Ox versus cricket. Double KO. Cricket spawns a mini cricket. Our otter races through that mini cricket. Pig squashes otter. Shrimp and pig double KO. Hedgehog is killed by the, the mosquito, but the hedgehog gets revenge. It's a double KO. It's a draw. Hey, Jace Fox, welcome back, mate. How you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're ready for some uh, super auto pets. Super auto friends, super auto pets. It's one of those. What do I like here? Um, I love the swan. The swan is so good for, for scaling, like, money-wise. It's really, really good. Really, really tempting to grab. Um, you never heard of it? Excellent. You're in for a treat. Let's sell. You know what? The, the hedgehog gave us the draw before, but I, I like future scaling. So let's sell the hedgehog, gain a buff from our shrimp, and buy a swan. We'll re-roll again. Hmm... The Giraffe can give a solid buff to our Ox, which is a really strong unit. And this Shrimp is buffing people, so let's let's sell the um, sell the Otter. Put the Giraffe. The Giraffe is going to buff our Ox um, after the, and every turn. Let's re-roll, see what comes up. A Dog is very intriguing. So the Dog, when you summon a, a friend, he gains stats. We could... Theoretically, I uh, know we just buffed him, but we could sell the otter, buy the dog, but then we need to trade something in and out. Because the idea is like the dog and the shrimp go to town when you keep buying and selling things. Um, we, You know what? Let's go for it. This is a, this, it's a little late, but let's go for it. So we get the dog. Might just rearrange things here. So what's going to happen here is when I sell and buy things... The shrimp gets a buff, or the shrimp buffs something, and then if I buy something else, something else, the dog gets a buff. So the idea is when we when we buy and sell, we're constantly buffing our our animals. That's the idea here. All right, let's end our turn. The giraffe buffs the dog. Okay, so it's Aussie Devro's cheesy ice cubes versus Chalky Jazz's slippery housewives. All right. Dodo buffs Peacock. Flamingo dies against Camel. Peacock buffs our animals. Ant squashes fl um, whatever that was. Uh, Ant get, then kills P Flamingo. Oh god, I've already lost track of it. I can't keep up with it. It's going too fast. Um, however, we do lose. <laughs> the game runs a little too quickly for my for my liking. That's another defeat. That's okay. That's alright. We can handle this. Um, we're going to buy a shrimp to level up our shrimp. Ooh, a rooster. That's kind of handy. Um... I'm going to sell the Flamingo and buy a new Flamingo. Because remember, this is a buy and sell build. So the idea is I need to buy and sell as many things as possible. That's the idea here. Buy an elephant. Sell the elephant. I'll buy the rooster because it's a good unit. It's a it's a powerful unit, but we will sell it when the time comes. Uh, in fact, we'll buy a, we'll, we'll freeze a snail and we'll... F no, we won't. We won't do that. Actually, we'll, we will. So the snail will be useful if we lose again. And then we can... Um, the flamingo buffs other animals when it dies. So we can use the sleeping pill on the flamingo for a further buff. Sorry, I know I'm explaining things very quickly. But again, there's a lot of things that are running through my brain. Aussie Devro's Cheesy Ice Cubes versus Lagri's Creamy Fingers. Oh god, that was horrible. Okay, so Rooster dies against Cricket. Rooster drops a, a little cheap. Uh, the little cheap cheap dies against the, the Cricket... Cricket v. Ant. Ant beats Cricket. Ant beats Fish. 
Uh, double KO, pig and ant. However, the kangaroo gets buffed. Dog beats kangaroo. Dog beats sheep. Sheep spawns two rams. Ram beats dog. Giraffe and ram have at it until the giraffe kicks some butt. <laughs> it was the creamy fingers, Valverine's. <laughs> All right, so we won, so we don't need this turtle. We're going to sell the the rooster. We're going to buy the flamingo. I'm going to pill the flamingo to get a buff, nice, easy buff there. Um, we're just going to buy a few things. I mean, the crab is good. The crab might be something we actually keep. So you can see I'm getting these double buffs going as I go, which is really, really cool. Buy the cricket, sell the cricket. And then what I might do is just do a little bit of this. Um, the crab gains the health from the unit in front of him, so he's actually a 316, not a 33, which is really handy. Let's end our turn. Gaming golfer, this is hilarious. Your second time around, you're now in round six, and everyone has been a draw. That's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. Alrighty, Aussie Dev Bros, cheesy ice cubes versus Kimmy Schling's glistering, glistening bushes. Have I ever eaten a cricket? No, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Uh, ant KOs spider. Spider spits out a whale. Um, horse buffs whale. Ant KOs whale. Ant KOs rooster. Rooster spits out a chick. Horse buffs chick. Ant KOs chick. Ant and peacock double KO. Ant buffs dog. Uh, dog beats crab. Double dog KO. Giraffe beats horse. And we win. It's our fourth win. The game looks interesting. It's kind of fun. It's it's a weird fun. I'm not going to lie. It is a weird fun. Now, here is a really cool interaction. Gaming golfer. I know you're playing. I hope um, I hope you're watching this because this is actually a really good little bit of tech. If you see a turtle and a pill, this is a really cheeky way to get melon armor because melon armor only spawns at level 6. And level 6 is much later in the game. But if you buy a turtle then make the turtle faint, that's permanent melon armor way earlier in the game. Like, about halfway earlier in the game. It's a little cheeky thing you can do um, if you want to kind of, like, um, game the system a little bit there. All the cool kids are doing it. All right, we will, um, actually, we kind of want to wait. Um, and you, and Gaming Golfer, that um, little combo works for a lot of different animals. There's a little tip for you. Um, we want to end with the cra uh, with the turtle, if possible. So we're just going to buy a few things. We'll sell a few things. All the cool kids and Aussie. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Balves. Um, I'm just going to freeze the turtle and re-roll for a second. Do I want the penguins? The penguin is a bit... Ooh, actually. Penguins buff level twos and ups. If we sell the giraffe and get a penguin, that actually really works for us. That really works for us, actually. Maybe I'll maybe I'll freeze that too. All right, let's re-roll a bit. Don't need another crab. Don't need another crab. All right, let's end turn. Wait, I don't have an. Oh, I just realized I didn't have a creature there. Uh oh, we're running a four squad. Uh oh, this could be dangerous. Cheesy ice cubes versus the naughty geysers. I won't I won't give the play by play anymore. I'm, my throat is getting a little sore, and I do have to work and stream tomorrow, so it's it's getting very late. But it looks like we are going to win again. The dog is going to kick some butt. I'm going to speed things up too. Um, because we are we are getting quite late for the Aussie Defro. Okay. So what are we going to do here? We are going to buff our penguin. Didn't we throw out an idea of possibly doing Punishment Challenge where Aussie ate crickets? Yeah. <clears throat> so um, Noctia doesn't want me eating bugs. Which, I mean, understandable. Understandable. I'm going to get some canned food. And I'm going to, I want to buy the turtle. We're buying the turtle. Reroll. Okay, we run with what we've got here. Enter. So about this angry plant you guys have in Aussie land, the one with needles that burrow. Um, needles that burrow. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that last pan. Denny might, Denny knows more about plants than I do. What about weird baby food? You know what? I haven't um actually asked that question. Oh, we got wiped. Holy heck, we got wiped. Heck, we got destroyed there. That's um really bad. <laughs> okay, we're starting to starting to slow down now. 
No, Balverine's asked the plant question. Um, Lazapan, the weird baby food. Um, that one I said I'll have to ask Noctil. And then Balverine's also asked um, what was about the needle plant? I said ask Denny, didn't I? Did I mix that up? Sorry, I'm getting tired. Getting very tired. Um, you beat Brock. Heck, Dutch. GG. G freaking G. Um, okay. Brain functioning. Brain slowing down. That's okay. We can do this. Um, all right. We're going to keep buying and selling. The whole point of this build is that we keep buying and selling. Buy things that buff at the same time. There we go. Nice buff from the otter. Sell the otter. Get a buff from the beaver. Sell the beaver. All right. This is going well. Um, the hippo is actually really good. So we'll, we'll try to land on the hippo at the end. I think I can do this. Yeah, I think I can do this. Yes. There we go. And like that, we now have a 1922 dog. There we go. Excellent. Buffs all around. Buffs all around. There's no known way to completely remove the hair-like spikes from the skin. People have to live the rest of their life with excruciating burning pain. Wait, there's a plant like that in Australia? What the actual heck? Why is there a plant like that in Australia? I mean, I understand why. It's Australia. But why is there a plant like that in Australia? Also, another win. That's six wins. This this run is now purely for me, chat. <laughs> oh, a monkey. A monkey, 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 monkey. Okay, monkeys are, monkeys are really good. Um, You know what? Let's... I think we're going to have to stop on our buy-sell plan. I think that's the end of that. Going to get rid of the shrimp. Going to give the garlic to a hippo. Monkey will buff hippo. We may as well buff the ant. And you know what? We may as well buff... Does the ant have anything? No. We may as well buff the ant as well. Alright. They named a freaking town after it. That's crazy. It grows up north? Ooh. I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> That's scary. That's very scary and spooky. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. I think actually I think we're about to lose. My tired brain didn't come up with good strategies. But I do enjoy the oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's gimpy. It's gimpy, Balverins. Think, yeah, it's gimpy. That's another win. That's seven wins. We might actually pull through with this, guys. Um, none of this really helps me. We're really looking for something that can buff the... Um... Ooh. This is really interesting. The ant will come back. Yeah, gimpy. That's exactly right, Valves. The ant will come back. This um this penguin isn't really helping us now. But a death touch scorpion will absolutely help us. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. Yeah, no thank you. Okay. Nothing really good here. We may as well give a buff to something. We may as well give a buff to our... There we go. Yeah, getting me to say it was much easier, Denny. You're right. You're entirely correct. All right. Cheesy ice cubes versus the soft sardines. They have golden poop. This means they have... That's the highest priced cosmetic in the game. This guy's a pro. This guy's a pro. That cosmetic... I've been playing this game for months, and I'm not even halfway to that cosmetic. No wonder we lost. No wonder we lost. <laughs> Bound to happen. Um... Alrighty, why is my camera... Okay, this is weird. Um, but guys, 